Hey everybody, so a student recently asked me if there were keyboard shortcuts in Premiere uh, that would speed up the process of targeting tracks in your timeline uh, with the source video and audio tracks. And these aren't set up by default in Premiere, um, but there are uh, several ways of doing this. Um, the most powerful way is to use source assignment presets, okay? Um, and this is, it, it, it takes a minute to set up, but then you can do some really cool things with this. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, um, is we're gonna go ahead and go into Keyboard Shortcuts, that's Option-Command-K on the Mac, and I'm gonna go from the Adobe Premiere Pro defaults. Um, we're not gonna change any of these, you, you can change them if you want, but we're just gonna look for an open space, and a good one is Option. So you can see hardly anything is assigned on the Option key. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna look for. Um, I'm gonna type in uh, source assignment. There, there it is. So you can see source assignment preset one. And I'm just gonna grab three of these. And, and, and most of the time I'm using maybe three video and three audio tracks. If you need more than that, then you could make up to 10 of these. Um, but the way I'm gonna do it is preset one targets A1V1, preset two, A2V2, and so on. Okay, so check it out. I'm on option here, that's important. And then I'm gonna drag this one up to one. Okay, you can see it's there. I don't know why it reverts back out of the option key, but anyway, um, preset two and preset three. And we'll just do that many for now. Okay, um, then what I'm gonna do is I am going to actually throw a couple other handy shortcuts up here to make this process go faster. So there's one here, save source assignment preset. I'm gonna grab that one and let's put it on, I don't know, seven. And then I'm gonna take manage source assignment presets and put that on eight. Now remember, these are all using the option key right here. If I turn option off, you'll see all the standard keys um, and, and these are for multicam. So with option, I have source assign preset one, two, three. Um, and then save source assignment preset and manage source assignment presets. Okay, so this is gonna let me do all of this, configure all the rest of this without having to come in here and look at the keyboard shortcuts um, dialog. Okay, so we're gonna hit okay here and then we'll come down to our timeline and you can see uh, I, I've got V1 and A1 source tracks and then three video, three audio here. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, right now, this is exactly how I want to start off. I want the source V1 targeting um, the V1 in the sequence, and then A1 is targeting A1. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that option 7 command, save preset, and this is going to be uh, V1 to V1 and A1, oops, A1 to A1. And right from here, I can assign it to source assignment preset one, which we already mapped to option one on the keyboard. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, set up the second preset, V1 to V2, A1 to A2. Again, I can hit option seven because that's how I set it up. So V1 to V2 and A1 to A2 on preset two. And then, V1 to V3, A1 to A3. Okay, so option seven, V1 to V3, A1 to A3. Feel free to come up with better names for these if you want, but you're not really gonna be looking at the name so much, so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. So that one's gonna be assigned to source assignment preset three. All right, here we go. So now check this out. I can hit option one. So V1 to V1, A1 to A1, option two, Option three, I can just quickly move through these. Okay, so very easy way to have your most common assignment set up. You could get more granular with this if you want, but I, I like just sort of this level. Maybe you typically use four tracks or five tracks or more. You can have up to 10 of these. Um, okay, so the next question, the follow-up question to this was, okay, great, now I can quickly um, deal with the assignments. But what if what I'm trying to um, insert or overwrite is only the video or only the audio, right? So um, what kind of key shortcut can we use for that rather than having to come up here and mouse, use the mouse to drag the video only or drag the audio only? 
Okay, so there is a pretty easy way to do this. Um, let's go back into our key commands. And again, I'm going to use option on here. And I have a few blanks here. Again, you might want these for source assignment presets or whatever. I'm just going to throw a couple in here. Um, and what they're going, what I'm going to do is just toggle video sources on and off, audio sources on and off. So this is, I think, the fastest way to be able to have these source presets, but then do only video or only audio. There may be an, the other good ways of doing it, but this one works really well for me. So I'm going to say toggle, oops, toggle, check it out, toggle all source video. Okay, there's already a command for this, but I'm going to put it here because this is where I want it. So I'm going to say toggle all source video and then toggle all source audio. Let's put that on option six. Okay, so five and six are, will toggle um, video sources, audio sources. Great. Okay, so check out how cool this is now. I can do option one, two, or three. And if I want only video, I can hit option six and turn off the audio source. Or I can hit option five and turn off the video source. So now with two key commands, the targeting, and then if I want to toggle either video or audio off, right, I have both of those in addition to just quickly being able to target. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Hopefully you'll find that helpful. Thanks for watching.